What is going on YouTube? And we are back with some more Horizon Zero Dawn gameplay, guys. We are back with another part in this series, part four in the installment, guys. And we already starting off with some epic BS. Holy shit, holy crap, oh my god. Guys, I wasn't sure if I should try. I thought I can aim for it and just like knock it out like I did the first one before it reached me. Right, I'm ready for that ad, come on. I'm ready for that ad, ooh, there we go. I'm ready for that ad. But guys, we are already starting off with the gameplay being hectic <laughs> with some bad news bears going on over here. I just want to start off by saying, guys, I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to me, guys. We are now almost at 85 subscribers, guys. And I just look at that as an amazing feature that we have accomplished so far since we've started the YouTube journey, guys. I just want to really really give my gratitude to you guys and just you know a state my way of a thank you to you guys i mean i just want to upload uh more and more for you guys i'm gonna try to have at least like three videos of this straight guys tomorrow all tomorrow for you guys i promise three videos guys three freaking videos yes and guys um I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but we are not starting off where we last left off in the last video. Basically, it was just a side mission that I was playing, and I wasn't entirely sure if any of you guys would be interested in seeing the side missions versus actually seeing the main story or the campaign. And so, I'm gonna just go ahead and upload the main story of this game, guys, the main campaign. Cause I know a lot of you guys are more interested in the story than the side missions, you know? <clears throat> But for those who are interested in seeing side missions or me completing them in any way, shape, form, or fashion, or just, you know, kind of little tips and tricks on how to beat certain side missions, then just let me know down in the comments, guys. I promise you I will upload them for you guys. Because this channel is for you guys, you know? Oh, snap. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, shards and, you know, resources. We're going to think smart about this one. God dang it. How did I run out of ammo? All right, uh... Why'd I throw a rock? Wrong thing. Oh crap, that's all I have. Woo! Woo! Took that man legs off. Let's get it. That's how you take him out, guys. I promise you. Got a campfire over here. Oh, that other one ran. I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to chase after that one. It's not really worth it. Ugh. Smack that neck off, too. You gotta chip my resources. Gotta go ahead and create some more ammo right quick. God darn. I'm I'm all that ammo. Time to meet, Time to meet Ross, Ross at the North Gate. Alright, that North Gate. I'm freaking all that ammo. I gotta create a lot of ammo. Also freaking resources in this game. I have like mad resources for everything. Or at least you know, average to get you by. <laughs> But not too shabby, not too shabby. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and grab this. And as I said before, I can, I am not the type of person, if I see a research or something, or, you know, uh, an item or something sitting on the ground, I can't just, I just can't pass by it. I just can't, Raggies. I just can't. Like, I just have to pick it up. I'm going to grab that. Grab that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and pass that one. <laughs> we gotta look for those weak spots. Woo! Light them up. Oh, I just realized. I just realized I was aiming with the wrong thing. Holy crap. I don't know how that was gonna go. Oh, I missed it. Holy crap. Can I get it this time? Oh, I, I got straight to the face. Let's get let's get that red spot. Woo! Oh, I popped that back. Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't even notice that he was coming for me. Pop that red spot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, guys. Guys, this animal right here kind of reminds me of a horse. Like, because I know a lot of the robotic uh, creatures in this game, they're like animal, uh, animal symbolic. Or whatever, anyway, it's like, and a lot of them just reminds me of certain animal sites. Some of them reminds me of certain dinosaurs, but that one right there kind of reminds me of like a horse type deal. You know? 
go ahead and grab that. If we could find the other one, that'd be great. But if not, then you know we go, we're just gonna be on our way. I'm also loving the cinematic features of this game. Like just the when uh whenever the cutscenes just you know so when oh, hold up I'm going to get this fox right quick. Aim aim aim. Ooh, right there. There we go. But yeah, the cinematic features are just amazing in this game. Like the graphics just go from freaking A1 to A1 plus. Like, you know, it's just that good. It's just that good. Like, I promise you. If any of you guys haven't picked up this game, it is definitely a grab and go. Going like that for a save. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark. I'm gonna have to sh shun you. What? Heck no. I guess I'll get some rest. I had a trip there. That trip caster I was talking about. I hate to think like that outlawed traitor charged for a weapon with that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Um, what is the lesson? I'm gonna go with that one. What is the lesson? The other two is kind of like, you know, end off conversation. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Boy, tone change. God damn. I thought it through. And I'm not going to shut you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Lost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. And I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. I mean, I know Ross is trying to protect her and all, but I mean, god damn, like, oh, beta law is to this fucking T, god. I mean, like, guys, that's like, I don't know, that's like driving and trying not to cut the speed limit if it says the speed limit is 35, but you go 36. Like, what? <laughs> I thought some bullshit was about to pop off here. Oh shit, bad news bears. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned have reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. A sawtooth. You know what that sounds like to me? See, that's uh, the type of stuff I was talking about. How 
I think like some of the uh, some of the robotics like kind of resemble some animals and some resemble like uh, some resemble like dino you know dino DNA type deal dino source or whatever. Like the sawtooth one actually kind of reminds me of um what's it called what's it called saber tooth the saber tooth tiger. And I just think it's really cool how they implemented that. And as some of you guys have seen when I was talking about the cinematic, the cinematic What's effect, of, guys, it was epic. This this game is a must get and a must watch. Like it's like watching a movie. That's how good it is. Tag that one, go and tag it. You gotta tag those tracks too. Whenever you tag one, don't forget to tag those tracks just in case. Bro, oh my, what the? Holy shit, you can see through people too? Guys, now y'all know. I right, we like Ross, but you know, we gotta get on that ad now. Like, what? Y'all see how big Ross look like? What? But what I put on that freaking like 3D X-ray vision, this bit like he looks skinny as fuck. Don't tell me all that freaking fat is gear, bro. Bro, 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 bro. What are you doing, Ross? All that gear is like all that fat is gear. Like my boy got all that bulk, uh, bulk for like gear. What? Bro, he's skinny as fuck. Or, I mean, like, you know, he ain't skinny, but he thinner than freaking what he appears. God damn. We got to sneak on this bitch. Run his head on that ass. We gotta, we gotta play this smart, guys, because I'm... I'm feeling since they showed the saber tooth, um, the saber tooth, you know, I forgot what the guy exactly said, but you know, I have saber tooth tiger in my head now. The sawtooth, that's what he said. Since um, they mentioned the sawtooth, I'm thinking that it's going to be implemented in some way, shape, or form in this lesson that Ross is trying to teach me. And so I'm feeling that we're probably going to end up having to counter it sooner, sooner or later. But I'm betting soon. Shit. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Damn it, Ross! Ross is about to get us caught. Yep. Fuck it. We gotta destroy this man. Ah, oh, damn it. We gotta destroy him. Ugh. I gotta knock those ankles off. Fuck it. I gotta knock those ankles loose. You know what I mean, guys. I gotta knock them loose. He was causing too many problems, and I need him to call any more to uh, cause any more problems around us, and end up making the, all the other you know animals or whatever see, and then bring them over and attract them. We ain't got time for that. We trying to get through this and keep it going. Y'all know what I mean. We ain't got time for problems and conveniences. Oh hell yeah, this looks shady as fuck. This looks shady as fuck. We got a fucking bonfire, some type of bullshit lit to my left. We got some carcasses to, uh, in the middle of the, I guess, pathway. We got some bodies laying around. Like what? What's going on here? I just feel like some bullshit about to happen. Before I go up there, let me see what's around. Alright, it was only that. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, cinematic cutscene again. <clears throat> An entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions at this point. I brought you here to deal with that. Whoa. My oh boy said he bought me here to deal with business. Oh, 
Oh shit. I'm guessing that's the sawtooth guys. Jesus Christ, that shit look vicious as fuck. Man, you motherfucker. What happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. Bitch, you better get your ass over here and help me, bitch! I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Use a trip caster. Okay, basically, this is uh, the game's way of implementing the trip caster, like, you know, so you can kind of get the hang of using it. God damn, that shit is huge as fuck. Jesus Christ, dude. That shit is huge as fuck, guys. When I say that shit is big, that shit is big. Holy crap. Alright, we gotta sneak up on this bitch, cause I feel like some bullshit about to happen. We about to put this on along its uh well damn I think I placed that oddly, you know, in a bad position. We about to place another one on this path though. I placed that one pretty good. I just think I placed that first one a little effed up. Alright, so far so good guys. So far so good. Are right, we gonna place this right here? I think that's enough. Oh, that was the last little bit anyways. I mean, I can make more, but I think that's enough. That's plenty right there. And then get my arrows and go ahead and fucking bone rush this bitch. What should I use? I'm gonna use the fire arrows to see if that, like, you know, maybe that fire uh, damage can, like, cause extra damage, you know? That's what I'm hoping for. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Shoot the bitch. Shoot the bitch. Damn, guys. This whole time, I just thought I should have been aiming for his, what you call it? I should have been aiming for the weak spot. Damn, I forgot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That bitch jumped. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Woo. Keep shooting. Oh my god, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Damn it, he's not letting me go. I gotta get out of here. Damn. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get a little distance from that man. If I can get him into this damn trap. Damn, why did he, why did he fucking jump? Damn, he did all that for one, uh, fucking launch. He broke that damn tree, too. God damn. Alright, he did one launch, right? Let's see if we can get him into the trap. There we go. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this bitch. Damn, it only lets you get, like, good, at least three good arrows in it, bitch. Like, this bitch fucking, he don't stay down for long. God damn. Alright, we. Did I defeat him? I didn't defeat him. Oh shit, guys, I think I did. I think I killed it. Okay, I killed it. That's what's up. Why did I bring you here? I don't know. Not to answer questions. Huh? Survival requires perfection. It was a it test, was test to hone my skills my against a dangerous new machine. Follow. Every lawyer needs to pay attention and mind what he's doing. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the questions, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? 
You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. Facts. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson we must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. That was deep. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. God, man. This game, it just really puts a real uh, perspective on the aspect of, you know, a single mother. But you know what it twists. I mean, in this case, it's a single father. And it's just, this game is just so deep. Like, this game can be putting your boy in deep thought, guys. Like, god dang. <laughs> when I see deep thought, like, your boy be just like, god damn. Like, what the fuck is going on in my damn life? Type deal. But this game is so freaking epic, like, I am loving it to the freaking fullest. I play this game so much and off, so much off screen, like, you wouldn't even believe how many videos I have made for you guys already. It is so unbelievable. I'm gonna create a few arrows and crap so I can be prepared for anything that goes on. You already know some bullshit happened, I'm gonna smack my teeth. Inside out. <laughs> Go ahead and get up in here. See what's going on out here. And also another thing I, lo I love about this game is the weather effects. Like there is a lot of open world games I've been in. I mean, one you know being Grand Theft Auto, of course. Um, that's take forever to dry. That's a widely known worldwide. Uh, that's a widely widely known. <laughs> A widely known you know open world game but just other open world games in general i haven't really seen any weather effects like this like this game has its own weather effect system and it's just like that's really awesome to see because it adds to the dynamic of the game like we're not just always in the same you know old scenery and even the weather effects like you know even that they did do it, it just looked great. Like the rain just looked freaking great, guys. And then look at like the shine on the skin, like the dynamics of this all. Like it just looks awesome. Like any of you guys who are into open world, like I would definitely cost this. And guys, I promise you, they did not pay me whatsoever to advertise this. I'm just saying this out of my own good, you know, uh, opinion of the game. Like, this game is, like, great and awesome. Like, just from playing it myself, like, I can tell you that this is a great game and you will not regret picking this up. This, I feel like the game is worth $60 to pay. I would play, and I don't say that too often, like, I haven't played a game, like, I haven't played a game that's been worth $60 in a long time. Besides, uh, you know, a few of the games I've placed on the channel. Ooh, we gotta go ahead and cop this boar. Woo! One. Dos. Can get tres in there. Tres, tres, tres. We're going in for the swift smash. Ooh! I smacked that boy spawn in half. God damn, I smacked that shit straight. If he ain't had a hunch back then, ooh, he gonna have one now. I 
I smacked that boy humping that damn bat. Gonna pick up these. And as for the like, uh, weather guys, look at that sun as it like freaking, you know, add that shadow effect to these rocks and shit. Like that shit was amazing, amazing, guys. Hold up, wow, what man? Ooh, hold up, oh, hold up. I'm still wondering, like, what is that attack right there that they these guys be using? Like, you know, it's kind of like a little. Yeah, I know it kind of stuns you a little bit, like, but what is it that they be doing? Oh shit, that one came out of nowhere. Woo! Woo, we got a three piece right here, guys. Oh, that's one. Oh my god, can I just get. Let's just go in for the smack. Oh my god. Let's go in for that smack, guys. We cannot risk a death. We're going in for the hit. The hit and kill. Let's go in, uh, you know, raid his carcass. Go and loot whatever we can from these bitches and be on our way. See what's in there. See what's in there. Oh, you know that theme music came on some bullshit. It sounded like some bullshit is near. Where he at? Oh, there he is. We aiming, guys. We smack that boy out of sensitive spot. Oh, we going in for the smack. Ooh. Ooh. The freaking uh, um, combat mechanics in this game. God damn, I smacked his fucking jaw. Yeah, I put that boy chin up. That boy had that mouth open. I put that chin up. Smack that little chin. <laughs> Let's go and aim for this one. He ain't bothering nobody, but you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling real, real Robin Hood-ish. Damn man, I was trying to hit the witch call it. I was trying to hit that soft spot. Hell nah, I need to hurry up and make some arrows. Woo, go in for the hit. Swept him off his toes. I swept that boy off his toes. Gotta make some arrows. You never know what might happen in these woods. You know, you feel me? Who feels me? Nah. Gonna take this last one out. Woo! I'm gonna take that last one out. Let's get it. Oh, bye. You wanna talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. All right, guys. This is uh, a side mission, actually, and this is uh, basically not part of the main story. But I'm telling you all, for anyone who does pick up uh, or into you know open world games or and things of that nature, you would know off the bat. That you, I mean, side missions are a kind of an important aspect of the open world game. It, it may be a main mission in a game that you cannot pass unless, you know. I mean, I'm not saying you have to play side missions in order to progress through the main story, but it is more, it's, it's just a, an important aspect because those side missions, just in case if you can't be the important part of the game, such as maybe it's, it might be set at too high of a level for you, you know what I mean? Like, you could be a level four. But maybe in that mission it requires you to be a level 7 because of you'll be stronger as well as maybe, for example, I'm going to use this game as an example. You might have to fight, you might have to fight a monster or something, you know? And the monster is maybe a level 7 or something or a level 8. You need to be, it's, it's just, you know, it's to help you out, benefit you. You just need to uh, use those side missions as a way, just in case if you can't get past you need to use that side missions as a way to progress through the main story so you can actually level up and build that, um, you know, build your level up so you can actually pass that, uh, that main story level. 
Not to say in this game you had to play side quests. I mean, you could fight the monsters all day and try to get the SP that way, but... Or do they even offer it? No, they don't even offer SP, I don't believe. Like, you know, uh, just fighting the creatures and killing them. I don't think they offer SP, so yeah, you do have to do the side missions. God damn, how the fuck she get all the way up there? And it's not like the side missions are boring in this game. They're actually really interesting. Like, some of them just had their own background. It's just really neat. You know, uh, aside from the main story, it just has its own background. Not pertaining to... Not pertaining to the main story, it's like what I mean. Like, it's like they just had their own lives and what's going on. It just adds that dynamic feel to the game as to... Not everything is centered around, you know... You as the main character, there are other things going around, going on in the world. You know what I mean? And other lives being had. It's just really neat. It's really, to me, I think it's really neat. You know, a really neat uh, thing to do. Holy shit! They're trying to ambush me. Hold up, hold up, game. You might have to uh, quit talking and get down to business right quick. They're going one. They're going one. Let's grab it. Let's go for doors. Do oh shit! Oh shit! Doors. We're going for doors. Oh shit! Dodging. Oh shit guys, I might die. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's go for doors. Doors. Oh shit. Get me out of this damn water. Holy crap. Can I swim faster? God damn. Holy shit. Holy shit. I didn't even know they could even shoot like little uh, beams, I guess. Holy shit. This bitch about to kill me. Oh my gosh, guys, this bitch has me trapped. Holy crap. He has me trapped. I'm trying to get past, but you know, it's not letting me jump. God damn it. This shit getting hectic, guys. Holy crap. But guys, we are coming to a close to the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoying the game so far. As well as, go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Go ahead and smash the like button, as a matter of fact. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing, guys? Go ahead and subscribe and tell all your friends. Tell your mama's friends. Tell your, bro your brother's sisters and cousins. And guys, go ahead and hit the bell as well so you guys can be notified the next time I post. So without further ado, guys, I am out.